Apple's new iPhone upgrade program seems like a great deal for many cellular users. It offers the ability to get a new iPhone every year. The phone is unlocked and it includes Apple Care Plus. But is it really all that it's cracked up to be? Here are five things you didn't know about the iPhone upgrade program. Number five, it ain't a discount. Taking the monthly cost of the 16 gigabyte iPhone 6s model, which is $32.41 a month, you'd pay $777.84 over two years, which is a whopping 16 cent discount over the price of the phone and Apple Care Plus. The main selling point of the program is the ability to get a new phone every year. But don't think that the low monthly payments are giving you any leeway over the total cost of the phone and Apple Care Plus. Number four, it won't work on business accounts. If you have your cellular bill tied into a business in any way, you will not be able to get the personal loan through Citizens One that Apple offers through the program. This is a bummer for many small business owners who have their cellular bill rolled into their business cash flow. It will only work on a personal cell phone account linked to either a single or family user. Number three, the iPhone isn't actually unlocked until after you leave the store. Although Apple claims that the iPhone is unlocked, you can't join the program without also either buying a new cellular plan or already having a plan to add the phone to. This is a serious bummer for those using prepaid accounts such as Cricket or Virgin Mobile. You must buy a plan from one of the four giant providers before Apple will let you join the iPhone upgrade program. A workaround might be to just purchase one month of service and then immediately drop it, but who wants to pay an extra $50 for this every year? Number two, you're pissing away a ton of money on the resale market. Typically, one-year-old iPhones in good condition can sell up to 75-80% to of its original value. Therefore, you can often make back close to $500 or more on an original $650 investment. Instead of that, you're plunking down your old iPhone for a new one and letting Apple have all that money. Now, they make almost $400 off of you in the first year. Then you give them your iPhone, which is worth $500, and now they've made $900 off of you in one year and you're going to have to get a new phone and do it all over again. Forever. Number one. Apple Care Plus ain't all it's cracked up to be either. At $129, it seems like a good deal. But add $99 service fees for incidental damage to that total, and suddenly a cracked screen will cost you $228. Without Apple Care Plus, a cracked screen will run you a one-time fee of $149 at the Apple Store. How about you just buy a life-proof case for that, John? Many of the other things that Apple Care Plus advertises to protect you from, such as faulty hardware or manufacturer's defects, are already covered under Apple's limited warranty. In the end, Apple Care Plus just seems to be an unnecessary expenditure. Let me know what you think about this countdown and whether or not it's turned you off of the iPhone upgrade program. Thanks!